Hello, I'm OBX Toycat and welcome back to another video. Today I have something that is technically what a lot of people have requested, but perhaps not in the way you would expect it, because today I do have a redstone build guide for you. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to build something out of redstone, but this is the one redstone contraption in the game that is mostly useful for creative and that can be built in survival, but is much more difficult and, you know, it will take a lot of trade with villagers. And this is going to be an XP machine. This is an idea I got from True where basically if you're in creative and you're switching back and forth between creative and survival, sometimes you really need XP, whether be to enchant, repair, do whatever you want to do, and uh, you know, just spamming bottles at your feet is one way to do it, but it's not quite as fun as this XP machine idea, and that's what I'm going to be showing you how to build in this uh, today's video, so please do like it if you do like it, helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do like it, and let's get straight into this one, shall we? So, even if you don't intend to use this, maybe learn something about redstone along the way. So, you need these four items right here, as well as some dispensers, that's all you're really going to need uh, first before you need the XP bottles, uh, so yeah, what you want to do is you want to have a uh, block of sandstone, or whatever you want to use on the floor, place a bit of redstone on top of it, and then have redstone torches around it. You might think at this point, uh, Toy Cat, are you trying to summon Herobrine, or are you teaching us about Redstone? Uh, the, my answer that would be there is no Herobrine, but yeah, uh, what you want to do is uh, you place blocks on top of this, and what you'll do is you'll make it so that the Redstone flashes on and off, because of the way Redstone works. You can see it all right now, just flashing on and off rapidly. And that will make your redstone signal go on and off rapidly, which is what you want because that will activate and unactivate the dispensers really, really quick. And of course, give you lots of XP bottles. So now you want to use this redstone trail, and you want to make kind of a U-shape out of it, like so. Uh, cool. oh, kind of like how a TNT cannon would look, but you want to just keep on doing this. And you want to have at least one space in the middle for you to stand. So then you want to have some dispensers going like along here. Uh, at least like, you know, three, four, or five in a row, and then something like that. And now you've got ten dispensers, and as soon as you put the redstone here, you'll hear that it starts to hook up to it, and it'll make the noise of like, clicky, clicky, clicky. And you can probably hear that right now, it's probably annoying you just as much as it's annoying me. So you want to just disconnect it from the redstone right now, but as long as it's there, as soon as you place this, it'll start working again. And yeah, that's very, very handy. So next up... What you want to do is you want to have a second floor of this thing. So if you want, you can have lots of these, you know, redstone clocks attached to the thing. But instead, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm just going to have a second. Actually, you know, I'll, I'll just do the same thing for another floor. So uh, then what you want to do is you want, want to make another one of these. So uh, make a thing up here and then do the exact same. So have uh, redstone torches all around this block. Make sure that it's further enough away that it won't affect this redstone. And then you can do the exact same thing, but on a second layer. And you can do this as many times as you want. So uh, just put the blocks on top of that and then it'll start flashing again. You can do this with as many layers as you want, of course. I'm just going to show you with a few layers today because the insanity that you get when this actually turns on is sometimes enough to, like, crash the game, which is hilarious, but also sometimes a problem. But yeah, so just have a second floor which goes along the first floor like this, you know, follows the exact same pathway, does the exact same thing, but does this instead. And then what you want, of course, want to do is you want to have some dispensers hooked up like this. Then in between there, just if you want to make it look pretty and not lose XP, you want to have stone just so it kind of looks like a dispenser. Or you can have a backwards dispenser. Or you can just have, you know, an unactivated dispenser. Whatever you want to do, it's entirely up to you. But this is just what I'd recommend. Let's uh, keep on doing this then. So go on like that. And then uh, place some dispensers like that. And now as soon as we attach this redstone, it'll make the exact same thing where it starts flicking them on and off rapidly. So now we've got 20 dispensers hooked up. As soon as we fill these, we're going to have a really fun party. But you want to disconnect it one more time. So let's just show you one more layer. But this time we'll go on the other side. Just show you it will still work that way. Uh, so let's just... Uh Go a few blocks into the air like this. I guess they'll probably be right. Uh, do the exact same thing. Place a redstone on top. Place the torches on the side. And then place blocks on top. And then it will, of course, start rapidly alternating. This is a really cool piece of redstone, in my opinion. Because I, I, I love the idea of just being able to get XP this fast. Because, you know, like something about pushing the envelope and just sometimes crashing the game. That's, that's something I really like to do. And... Uh, like the 100 end dragons thing, uh, this is kind of a similar thing, except this is going to be something I'll really use in this world, because this is my creative world, if you don't know, I use it for both creative and survival, you know, if I need to use creative stuff for a survival video, this is the one I'll use, and yeah, it's a pretty cool world in that way, so I uh, do the exact same thing, just hook it up to the redstone, uh, like, like so, it'll make the annoying clicking sound as soon as you do that, so let's just remove this for now, and then yeah, the next step you can probably guess is going to be filling the dispensers, but first of all, let's just put the last bit of the uh, stone here, Last bit of that there. And yeah, now the final layer of dispensers. And if you're wondering why they're opposite each other, it's so that the, the XP will hit the other layer of stuff and then fall down to you. And uh, you'll see just how effectively this goes in a second. But yeah, now, now you want to do is uh, make sure that you've got a few redstone left. But clear your inventory and now fill these with XP bottles. These are just over here in the inventory. In, in a survival mode, this will take a lot of trading with villagers, as I might have mentioned. 
But you want to fill each dispenser with at least a couple bottles of XP. Uh, obviously, the more the merrier. But yeah, just uh, fill the, uh, the dispensers with XP. And then as soon as you've done that, then you can start to move on. So uh, what I'm going to do now, because you don't really need to watch me fill these dispensers with XP, is I'm going to just skip until uh, after I've uh, filled these with XP. And then I'll, uh, you know, I'll go back to survival after I have redstone in my inventory. And I'll show you just how this works. Because it might crash, but it, it might just make uh, show you something amazing. So let's, let's go and do that now. I'm going to quickly jump cut. Okay, so we're here now in survival. Just show you how effective this can be when you can actually see the XP counter. Of course, this does work in creative, but you don't get to see your levels. In survival, you can see how crazy this is going to be. So, uh, we're going to have to... We can't activate all at once. It's going to be one layer, then another, then another. But you'll see the XP start to go crazy already. So there we go. As you can see, it's just going as fast as it humanly can. There's XP flying around the sky like crazy. It's a very, very fun thing to look at. And you can see you get to level 30 in a matter of uh, just seconds here. So uh, if, even, if, even if you want to go beyond 30, you just want to get as high level as you can. If you're willing to fill these dispensers all the way to the top, this is this noise is like really loud and you might be up here at the mic. But yeah, uh, if, like even if you fill the dispensers all the way to the top, then what you can start to do is you can start to stuff where you try to get above level 30. Because if you look, uh, you, it's getting above level 30 is meant to be very challenging. Here you can do it anyway as long as the dispensers are filled. So uh, if you really want, you can also like have a hopper system that fills each of the dispensers automatically so that they can just keep going on and on and on and you can leave the game going. But yeah, as you can see, that's uh, after all the XP is gone and the, my XP, I've gotten so much of it that it took a while to get gather in there. But yeah, 38 levels of XP in like less than a minute. That's that's how you can do things using this XP machine. So yeah, it's a creative piece of thing. You can do this as many layers up as you want to go, as wide as you want to go. You can have this be like 100 dispensers you know, wide, 100 dispensers tool and make an insane XP machine that almost will guarantee a crash the game but it's just a very fun thing that I figured you might enjoy so please do like the video if you did like it share it if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here leave a comment if you want to see actual redstone builds for survival and not just creative and let me know if you did like this uh, mad machine or if you're going to use it because I know uh, my particular situation with creative is a bit different to all of you because I make videos and stuff but I just want to know uh, you know if this is the sort of thing that you will make at some point because it is hilarious just to see anyway anyway um I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.